and you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest boxers of all time. He was brutal, ruthless, and he was the new champion. The fight has been stopped, and the winner, a new lightweight champion of the world, For this list, we'll be ranking pound for pound the best purveyors of the sweet science. Did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Carmen Basilio The world of professional boxing is full of larger-than-life personalities, athletes that tend to transcend their careers and enter the public consciousness. He was on the front cover of Ring Magazine, month after month, Sports Illustrated. Carmen Basilio gave Canastota uh, a sense of pride. Carmen Basilio is not one of those immediately recognizable names, but his reputation as an all-time great is secure in the minds of many boxing fans. That's due in part to Basilio's decision victory over Sugar Ray Robinson back in 1957. But there are many other reasons why Carmen was a tough opponent. It produced 15 rounds of total fury and a fight that is on every single top 10 greatest fights list. His stamina was legendary for starters. Simply stated, Basilio could take a punch, and he often used this endurance to wear down his opponents before moving in for the kill. In close, Basilio was also deadly, mixing up body blows and headshots to attain victory. It's not a stretch to consider Basilio the toughest or the most exciting fighter to ever lace up a pair of gloves. Number 9. George Foreman Speaking of nightmares, the George Foreman many know today is a far cry from the beast that used to punish opponents between the ropes. Oh, sure, Big George was always soft-spoken and quiet in interviews, but in the ring, a monster. In his target back, Frazier is ready to go again. Joe is standing. His, there he goes. The fight is stopped. It is over in the second round. George Foreman is the heavyweight champion of the world. He knocked out Joe Frazier in 73, but couldn't get the job done against Ali at the iconic Rumble in the Jungle a year later. That loss was one of only five Foreman would suffer out of an astonishing 81 bouts, and George would win 68 of his fights via knockout. Foreman even became the oldest world heavyweight champion when he came out of retirement at age 45. The winner, and once again, heavyweight champion of the world, Big George Foreman. Number eight, Joe Frazier. The careers of Smoke and Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali will forever be intertwined, but this takes nothing away from the enviable accomplishments of Frazier's esteemed career. Wait till I get you in the ring. Wait, please see what? Get your hands off me. Joe was the first man to dole out a loss to Ali, but his own professional record stood at an impressive 32 wins, with 27 of them via knockout. His left hook was devastating, and many opponents never saw it coming until it was too late. Additionally, Frazier was constantly on the move, bobbing, weaving, and basically being a nightmare for anyone unfortunate enough to be standing across from him in a ring. He gets stronger and stronger, and the people who are beating him by exhaustion, he keeps ducking and hooking. And finally, he's overcome you. He's knocked you out. Number seven, Rocky Marciano. It was as if a sculptor took a big boulder and just chiseled the fighter out of it. The numbers of Rocky Marciano are even more impressive than Mike Tyson's, as this Italian-American legend of the ring retired from the sport undefeated at 49-0. Furthermore, Marciano knocked out 43 of those opponents flat out, thanks to Rocky's determined in-ring style. Marciano could take a beating, particularly on the chin, while continuing to bide his time. His stamina was among the very best in the heavyweight division, and his punches made short work of anyone who stood in his way. Marciano was the sort of old-school tough guy persona many tend to associate with classic boxing. And for that, we salute him. Winner by a knockout and still heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Number 6. Mike Tyson The case of Mike Tyson might be completely different to Carmen Basilio's in that he's basically a household name from the boxing world, an athlete even those unfamiliar with the sport can easily recognize. Iron Mike dominated everyone in his path and became the youngest boxer ever to win a world title in 1986 when he beat Trevor Burbick. That was a right to the body and an uppercut to the head, and Burbick is down.
This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. From there, it was a road of infamy for Mike's reputation and injuries for his opponents, as Tyson often ended his fights in the first round. In a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. His demeanor was that of a caged animal, and he easily intimidated opponents with his heads down, take no prisoners approach. Fifty-eight fights, fifty wins, forty-four of them by knockout. The numbers simply don't lie. Mike Tyson was a bad man. He had timing and leverage and strength and a desire to put his fist through the back of your head. Number five, Sugar Ray Leonard. I was an English kid, very energetic, uh, enthusiastic. I was hyper. I had all the ingredients that it took to be successful. I uh, had all the ingredients that it took to be a champion. It's tough to mix in so many different weight classes when it comes to determining pound for pound greatness, but no list is complete without mentioning one Sugar Ray Leonard. That's because the sweet one actually earned titles in multiple divisions from welterweight and middleweight to light heavyweight. Leonard only lost three fights out of 40 total with 36 wins and a single draw to his name. Ray even found time to win the light welterweight gold medal at the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal. Like Frazier and Ali, Sugar Ray also had a nemesis of sorts in Roberto Duran, thanks to two insanely memorable fights the pair had in 1980, the brawl in Montreal and Stone vs. Sugar. What? Number four, Floyd Mayweather Jr. I'm, I'm just saying I'm the best fighter in, in the sport of boxing. No one has dethroned me, so how am I not pound for pound the best fighter in the world? You tell me. Every generation gravitates towards their own set of athletes, men and women that, for them, help define their favorite sports. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is one of those for professional boxing, a lightning rod for controversy who nevertheless serves up must-see entertainment everywhere he goes. Ortiz tries to sportsmanship. Mayweather makes him pay. What a rookie mistake there. Mayweather backs it all up, though, with a perfect in-ring record of 50-0. His style also bucked the trend of hyper-aggressive tactics of old by employing a highly defensive technique. Already acknowledged as a defensive genius, as the wins and the world titles piled up, Floyd became even more confident and aggressive in the ring. He's incredibly accurate. Any lands, a high percentage of punches. Money Mayweather always made each punch count, not to mention every paycheck, even dipping his toes into the world of professional wrestling for a small stint in the WWE. Wait a minute, Mayweather's got a chair! Ooh, Mayweather! Swing on the chair! Number three, Muhammad Ali. There's little that can be added at this point to the legacy of one Muhammad Ali. Only last week, I murdered a rock. Angela Stone hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. <laughs> the man's reputation is honestly larger than boxing, possibly larger than athletics in general. Ali was a folk hero and sometimes a villain, a technician in the ring and a headline in every newspaper. His showmanship was unparalleled and often mimicked that of pro wrestling, an art form for which Ali held admiration. Clay comes out to meet Liston, and Liston starts to retreat. If Liston goes back an inch farther, he'll end up in the rain side seat. But there was little joking to be had when it came to Ali's boxing dominance, nor his influence to generations of athletes in his wake. Five losses out of 61 fights with 37 hard-hitting knockouts. Ali would tell you himself, I am the greatest. I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Never again make me the underdog until I'm about 50 years old. Right. Then you might get me. Number two, Joe Lewis. He wasn't tagged the Brown Bomber for nothing. 25 in a row. This was how many times the legendary Joe Lewis successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship after winning it in 1937. And Lewis gave him electronically down. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten, a new world champion. Joel Lewis is the new world champion in the eighth round. He's an icon of the sport, particularly during a time of political upheaval. This was demonstrated in his feud with German boxer Max Schmeling. Specifically, his rematch that took place as World War II was about to take center stage. Right to the body, a left hook to the jaw, and Schmeling is down. Billy Kahn was another noteworthy opponent of Lewis, but this mattered little to the 36 men that fell before Joe's formidable fists. This was truly one of boxing's all-time greats. Joe Lewis transcended the race and transcended being the heavyweight champion of the world to an individual who gave hope to an entire generation of Americans and many people throughout the world as well. Before we name our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Roberto Duran, Hands of Stone. And that name, Mano de Piedra, is, is true. Hands of Stone, every punch, and I'm not exaggerating, every punch that he hit me with, from the body to the head, felt like bricks. Manny Pacquiao, hard hitting in both boxing and politics. Manny Pacquiao never fails to surprise me with what he brings to the table. It's always a little better than I thought. Oh, my God! Written down again! Jack Dempsey, one of boxing's earliest stars. Jack Dempsey represented a whole new era. He comes in like a pit bull. He crouches low. His hair is shaved up the back of his head. He's got this scowl, and he's out to kill his opponent. And this excited the country. And the country it just came out of the war. They wanted heroes. And, boy, they love Jack Dempsey. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. This southpaw found a second career in Italian action movies. Hearns turns his back, takes another right. Hearns in deep trouble again. Hearns is down. Hearns is down in the third round. Evander Holyfield, the real deal. Quintana scores the fight 147 138 for the winner. And new junior. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sugar Ray Robinson Sugar Ray Robinson was the boxer's boxer, the yardstick to which all other pretenders to his throne would be measured. We should remember Ray Robinson because he was the one perfect fighter. He was an American original. Unlike other examples on this list, Robinson fought a lot, 201 bouts to be exact, and he won 174 of them with over 100 knockouts. A pulverizing right crashes off Valentine's jaw. His personal style was flashy and full of charisma, laying down groundwork for the Muhammad Ali's that would eventually arrive in his wake. He was a showman, a ham, a flashy dresser, and a soft touch who looked good at whatever he did and wherever he went. Meanwhile, Robinson's in-ring technique was unpredictable because he could simply do it all. Defensive fighting? Check. Aggressive jabs and uppercuts? Sure. Ray could even come at opponents with guns blazing, knocking them out with either hand with split-second accuracy. All hail the king. More than the greatest boxer of all time, he was the idol whose every move in and out of the ring showed what black pride really meant. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.